This is Gene Key for SkySurf News. From KHOU.com, more than 80 victims and family members in the worst ever mass shooting at a U.S. military installation are seeking $750 million in compensation from the U.S. Army, alleging that willful negligence enables psychiatrist Major Nadal Hassan to carry out a terrorist attack at Fort Hood, Texas. The administrative claims filed last week say the government had clear warnings that Hassan, who is scheduled to go on trial in March, pose a grave danger to the lives of soldiers and civilians. The victims and family members allege that the government bowed to political correctness and not only ignored the threat Hassan presented, but actually promoted him to the rank of major five months before the massacre two years ago that left 13 dead and more than two dozen wounded. Texas drivers won't be able to put Confederate license plates on their vehicles after a state board unanimously rejected the proposed design. The Department of Motor Vehicles board, appointed by Governor Rick Perry, voted against offering the plates after hearing hours of emotional testimony. Texas has approved 276 specialty plates, including a series promoting the American Quarter Horse Association and one celebrating the red grapefruit as a state fruit. It turned down a Sons of Confederate Veterans request for a specialty plate in December 2009. The criteria has changed since the Department of Motor Vehicles board in its current form was created two years ago. The board has since approved all 89 specialty designs submitted. KVUE.com has an interesting report from Austin. Brian Norman is the assistant golf pro at Castle Hills Golf Course. He also is the sole resident. Since August, he's been sleeping in an apartment on club grounds. His brief residency made him the only eligible voter in an election Tuesday in which he approved an $18 million bond to benefit Castle Hills. While people may disagree with the methods, it was legal. And it's popular with real estate developers like Castle Hills that set up their own little government of sorts. It lets them borrow the money tax-free instead of plunking down their own cash to build their own communities. In the last five years, about $1 billion in bond money has been approved in elections where there are only one or two voters. When it comes to landslides, they don't get much bigger than that. This is Gene Key, SkyServe News.